Hello everyone, this is Momo, and I'm going to be showing you how to get the Headhunter achievement in Halo CE, which is in the Halo Master Chief Collection. The achievement is for getting every skull in the Halo CE campaign. The first skull, which is the Iron Skull, is in the uh, first level, Pillar of Autumn. And right after you gain control of your character, just go to the back of the room and it's sitting right there. All you have to do is walk into it and you pick it up. And you'll get an achievement for every skull that you pick up. And next is on the second mission, Halo, the Mythic Skull. Just run all the way back here towards that waterfall. And right behind that rock there, you'll see it in a second. There it is, the Mythic Skull. And a quick note I forgot to mention, you have to be in the remastered graphics to see and pick up the skulls. I tested it, you can't pick them up in the old graphics. So just pick up the Mythic Skull and there's your achievement for that one. And then in the same mission, after you get your Warthog, just drive over here and head towards the right wall. And there will be a certain rock you have to jump up. It's uh, that rock right there. Just, uh, uh, don't know what I'm looking around for, but just jump up on the rock. And then get on the cliff. Stellar jumping skills there. Just gonna speed that up and go all the way across the cliff until you see the skull sitting right there. And there is your boom skull. Forgot what it was called for a second there. The next skull is in the Truth and Reconciliation, which is the foreign skull. After you get to the hangar and clear out the some enemies, just hug the right wall and go right here to the right. This door will only open if enemies come through it, so you might have to be a little quick about it. And right here I accidentally pick up the skull right there by backing into it, and I get the achievement. I reloaded it to see if I could show you where it is, but once you pick up a skull, you can't pick it up again. It'll be right there where I'm shooting. In case you don't know where it is. Then we're going to be going to Silent Cartographer and we're going to get the Famine Skull. Right as you start the mission, just turn around and the skull is right up there where I'm aiming. I'm going to take a long trip all the way around the cliff. We sped this up 400%. And then go all the way to the end, and the Famine Skull is sitting right there. Pick it up, and you get another achievement. The next skull is when you go to deactivate the security to get to the Silent Cartographer. Uh, before you go down, I recommend grabbing an overshield and making sure you have full overshield. They're sitting right up, right above where you need to go three of them so just grab one and you'll have two hunters in your way but you can easily take care of those with a uh, two pistol shots then go all the way towards where the console is and also make sure you have at least one plasma grenade because you're gonna need to do a grenade jump to get to it it's right skulls right over there and throw the plasma grenade right where I'm landing it then as soon as you hear the little uh, sound cue, just uh, jump and do a crouch jump to make it up and grab the skull, the bandana skull. Forgot to mention which one it is. And you get another achievement. Moving right along, we've got the skull in the assault on the control room. The skull's in the room with that giant thing in the middle. I don't know how else to explain where it is besides that. You're going to have to do another grenade jump. A plasma grenade is easier to work with. And don't miss the jump like I did. Forget, don't forget to jump. Just uh, toss it right there. Again. Then as soon as you hear the sound cue, jump. Crouch jump if you have to. And then the skull is right in there. The fog skull. Pick that up for another achievement in a second here. There it is. Uh, or there it is right there and then 
uh, when you get to this big room, it's after you get the tank, obviously. Just uh, as soon as you enter, hop out and head towards the right here. That You'll see that little platform with the turret and the grunt. Just to the left of it, there and below it, there's the skull right there. Just hop down. You can easily survive the drop. And then you can pick up your malfunction skull for another 5 gamer score. <laughs> Do a little victory suicide. Then on 343 Guilty Spark, this skull is very near the beginning. After you see this group of enemies running out of the complex, just move around the right side. And I'm showing you the easy way to get to it. There's enough, You can just go straight towards it without coming up here, but this is the easiest way to show how to get to it. Anyway, just hug the right wall and go down that little cliff, and you got your skull right there, the recession skull. And you're another five gamer score richer. Next one is on the library, right at the beginning after you clear out all the enemies and before you enter the big giant circular room. Toss a grenade right there, do a grenade jump. And then hop into this little hole in the wall and you've got your black eye skull sitting right there. Grab it for another five gamer score. And then at the end of the library level, your, the skull is going to be behind the objective to end the level. Don't go towards it because the last thing you want to do is end the level and have to redo it all over again just to get the skull. And I sped this up as much as I could. Just go all the way around the room. And the... I forget which skull this is, but it's sitting right there. Just walk up to it. Be careful not to approach the objective. Eye patch skull, that's what it's called. Grab it for another 5 gamer score. And then on two betrayals, uh, that we're going to get the pinata skull. This is the only skull in the level. It's right near the end of the level after you take out the first two pylons or whatever those things are. Uh, if you can get a ghost, it'll make this part a little quicker. Just drive straight towards where the banshee is between the two rays. And if you're quick enough, you can hop into a banshee and escape unharmed. Or at least alive. I get really lucky here. You know, the Wraith hit that other Banshee. And then just fly up, and you're going to be heading all the way back. You're going to be going towards the objective. Oh, uh, <laughs> forgot to turn off my notifications. Amateur move there. Uh, like I was saying, you're going to go past the objective and back towards this cave above it. And the Pinata Skull is sitting right here. Uh, for some reason, when I picked up this skull, my achievement didn't pop. But I promise you, I got the achievement for picking it up like an hour later for some reason and then there's no skull in the keys level so we're just skipping to the maw and in the driving section when you reach the section where foe hammer will come to pick you up just drive right over here and position the warthog in a spot where you can get up and be careful to position it in a spot where you can get up and also get out of your warthog without falling and just hop on your warthog and get up here, do a crouch jump if you have to, and the Grunt Birthday Skull is right there. So this is the last skull in the game, the 13th skull. <laughs> get splattered by a Banshee for good luck, and then you get your Headhunter achievement for a 20 gamer score. So with all the skulls you get and this achievement, you get a total of 14 achievements. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and keep watching.